Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in the last video we did the water level detection sensor, which was actually a really good lesson. I enjoyed that. I mean, I, I kind of say that at the beginning of all of these videos, but I actually am really enjoying these. So let's go on to the real time clock module. Again, no idea what this is, so let's just see what it is. Lesson 18. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the RTC module. So the real time clock module. Okay, I've seen this in the kit with the battery. It's like a watch, basically. Uh, the DS1307 real time clock is a low power chip. Address and data are transferred serially through an I2C. Okay, which can be used unless being connected to what? Which can be used unless being connected to Uno with only three. I don't, I didn't understand that. Okay, DS1307 provides seconds, minutes, hours, day, date, month, and year information. Timekeeping operation continues while the part operates from the backup supply. Timekeeping continues whilst the part operates from the backup supply. Okay. All right, so we just need the four female to male wise, although we've got five pins there, right? There's five pins there, but apparently we only need four wires, the module and then the Uno. Well, okay, so this is a, a bit of a deep little schematic here. Three volt battery, other side grounded, ground, you've got the chip here, so VCC, no idea again I, I just yeah no idea what this is so notice if you receive the old version shown on the left please don't worry its function names and pins are the same as the new version you can follow the wiring diagram and sketch in the tutorial to make it work all right so here's the schematic so you've got the module and then it's okay we're, we're not using the swq pin we're just going vcc to five volts ground to ground and then SDA to the SDA. Okay, yeah, so that's that. Those are two analog pins that I think are on the other side, on the digital side. I think if, that, if, that's, if I'm not mistaken. The SDA and SCL. That's simple. Just SDA to SDA and SCL to SCL. All right, let's get out the module and give it a go. So here it is over here. Now, that's it. So you've got VCC and ground, which is simple. And then just, all right, so I'm just going to stick to my standard, my standard color scheme, which is uh, red VCC. Red VCC, black to ground, and then just any random color for SDA SCL. Okay, so we leave the bottom one blank. Okay, so let's connect our ground and VCC first. So my digital side, analog side there, ground. Five volts, and okay, so gotta get this bit right. So orange is SDA for me. Orange to SDA, and so these are the pins on this side here. Okay, white one is SDR. Yeah, okay. and it's illuminated. Cool. Let's continue. Okay, so it just says ignore the SQW pins. You're not going to need them. Is fine, fair enough. All right, so code just upload. You need to have the library installed. I'm not going to bother installing it because usually I install it and then it tells me I've already got it. So open the monitor and you can see it reads the time. So it's got raw data, the date, and time. Interesting. I would like to know how it got the date and time. Does it get it from the Arduino IDE? Open up the code. All right, so here's our code. Let's hit uh, upload. We'll see if I need that library or not. Okay, so I've got this error saying that it does not name a type. Did I mean date time? So maybe that might be right, but maybe as well I haven't just added the library. So let's just do that. Include library, add dot zip library, and then navigate to the folder. Okay, and then inside inside the real time clock module, then just select this library, add it. It says it already exists. Okay, so we've hit a problem here. Because I've already got the library installed. Okay, I've got get. Hmm, okay, let's copy this error message into our notepad so we can see it better. Make it bigger. Okay, here's the whole error. So it says class DS3231 has no member named begin. Clock dot set date. They're saying what it should be set date or something. No, has no member name set date time. Did you mean set date? Okay, so I, I I no idea how to fix this, so just gotta do what you know 
everyone does and just jump on Google. And so after about, you know, a good five minutes of Googling, you couldn't actually find anything. So it said that I already have this DS3231 library. Now, I remember in a previous tutorial, I can't remember which one it was, but there was a library issue as well where there was multiple libraries for that one module. So I'm guessing I've already got like, let's say I've got Adafruit's library for this DS3231. If I've got Adafruit's one, then it probably won't, it will use different variables than what Elegoo was using or different variable names. So let's try and find it and then DS3231, let's try and find it and then uninstall it. So here's the one that I've got. Oh, it's gone now. It was up there at the top somewhere. There you go. So it says installed there. So what I'm going to do is click this. Okay. And then can I, how do, how do I uninstall this library? How to uninstall library. Hopefully you guys don't have these problems. I'm so sorry. I didn't even put Arduino ID. <laughs> okay. So I think I need to find it somewhere in my files. Okay, I actually found it. So it's in my documents Arduino libraries folder. And then it's here DS3231. I'm going to delete that. Okay, and then let's uh, close the IDE. Nice. Okay, we're making some progress, people. So now let's open up the code again. And this time I'm going to import in the library that they gave. And hopefully that should work. Okay, so tools, uh, sketch, include library add dot zip library real time clock module and then ds1307 wait this is d this library is ds1307 why am i reading ds3231 what's this actual um yeah this this more this whole sensor is ds13 even it says it on it it's ds1307 what's up with this initialize ds3231 i'm changing it that's bloody confusing ds one three that's got to be wrong right yes one three oh seven okay anyways let's try run it now so upload okay didn't like something oh but it worked though all right so let's check the serial monitor initialize rtc module uh what's happening okay so i think here you can see there's some code commented out. What is up with this code? Like this code is terrible. Look, even this is the, I believe wrong number. So clock dot set time. So surely I need to set this time, right? So uncomment that. Let's go clock dot set date time. Oh, okay, it's saying take my date and time when compiling. So take it from my operating system and take it, add it onto the Arduino. So what happened there then? If I run the serial monitor, why does it not do anything? I mean, there's nothing to press on the actual module itself. Okay, so an, I saw an error pop up here. So C++ forbids converting a string constant return th. It's not happy with something about the code November, October. Okay, I don't know what that's about. All right, let's try and understand this code. So we set up the serial monitor there. Then we print initialize RTC module, which is what we're seeing on the screen. Then we're saying clock.begin. And then we're saying clock.set the date and time to the date and time of my OS. And then what we're saying is our main program is going to take this variable DT and it's going to put into that variable this, you know, values from the clock, the dot get date time. And then it's going to print out the year, month, day, hour, minute, second. Is it using the incorrect telephone? Should it be 1307? Because here, even the library is 1307. Let's try this. So DS1307. And hit upload again. Uh, okay, it didn't like that at all. But I actually do have the header file for it. I mean, it's literally... It's literally in here. Oh, no, it's not. DS3231 header file. Okay. So we'll change that back then. DS3231. Hit upload again. 
I mean, not that anything's going to change this time. Oh, it's printing. What the hell? I didn't change anything that time, right? Okay. There you go. So it's printing 8.49 a.m. 9th of January. Nice. Okay, so... Um, now, as we like to do, let's say... Um, what, what should we do to this code? I was just thinking of just doing like a standard if statement just to see if we can play around with the variables. So, you know, for example, like set a time and such that, you know, on the hour, the bell rings. Or let's say, okay, let's say I want to set an alarm for 8.51, 8.52. So if I want to set an alarm for 8.52, I'm only using the, what am I using? The hours and the minutes, the seconds is irrelevant. So if I say if... And then DT hour is equal to uh, eight. Okay. And then I say, uh, okay. I don't need to do nested here. I can just do and uh, DT minute is equal to, what did I say, 52? Is it quite 52 yet? Getting there. Is equal to 52. Then serial dot print wake up by there we go let's hit upload let's see if we've just made ourselves a little little alarm clock here okay so 44 2 1 0 <laughs> wake up Faye. that is brilliant <laughs> and then so actually what you could do as well this is this is cool right and then so you can see it's it keeps printing wake up fatty, right? Which is fine. But now what you can do is you could say if, right? And then you could do dt dot mit dot minute or second dot second is equal to two, right? I don't know if this would work in C. I don't know if this would work here. So let's do 53. How much time we got to 53? Not much time. Can we hit upload and upload it before 53? Uh, what, what happened? It reset the time. Error opening serial port com six. And then the time's actually been reset there. Oh, it didn't like break. Oh, it's giving me a whole bunch of errors here. Break statement not within loop or switch. Oh, okay. Is this this break statement is gonna break out of the whole loop, I think. <laughs> okay, let's do you can see here that I do all of these videos on the fly because I'm trying to learn whilst you learn. Or just watch some loser code. <laughs> It doesn't know how to code. So we're, okay, let's try this. If we say while A is equal to 55, okay, then and we could even now do DT seconds, second is equal to zero. Right? So are we at 55 yet? Almost there. So let's hit upload now. So if you imagine this is going to be the bucket that pours over your head. When your alarm goes. Boom, wake up fatty. And then, I mean, it should have stopped, but it's now just flying. <laughs> okay, that's wrong. Well, what I was expecting to happen was, it should have been, while the, the seconds were equal to zero, that should have just been for a moment, or for a, literally a second. <laughs> right? Because we're saying that, you know, you need all of these conditions to be true in order to print this. So what that means is it has to be eight hours, 55 minutes and zero seconds, then print that. Okay. Maybe an easy one to just say if, I mean, what's the, why did I, I didn't probably didn't need to change it to while. Oh wait. Okay. This isn't going to work now. Is it? Where's my serial monitor? Okay. So it's just ignore me now. So let's do, 56 seconds, 56 minutes, 8 minutes, 8 hours, 56 minutes, and 30 seconds. Upload. And then serial monitor. Okay, so we've got an alarm coming in 5 seconds. 2, 1. Wake up, hey. There you go. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. It doesn't quite look as nice because of... The, the new, the extra new line there. Let's just hit upload there and then that, that finally, that does it. That would look nice. Wake up, Faye. And it's carries on. Yeah, so this is cool.
So that works. I'm not sure what happened with the while loop. If you know why the while loop didn't work, let me know because I would have assumed that it would, would be only for a second that all three of those conditions would have been true. But I can see how the if statement works fine. So, but yes, yeah, so you could set up all sorts of code, right? You know, for example, you could do here easily. You could say if dt year is equal to 2022, 20, and you can just print. Oh, wait, it doesn't print like that. <laughs> Serial dot print. How did we make it through 2021? There you go. And now when you hit upload, you shouldn't see anything. Nothing should happen. It should be the exact same program because it's not 2022 yet. However, what you will get in this instance here is that when it does become year 2022, it's going to print this all the time because it will obviously be the year 2022. So you can just then again increase to say, for example, and, you know, the month is equal to uh january and the day is equal to the first then you can print how did we make it through jan through 2021 all right guys well if you enjoyed this video leave a like i certainly did i've got i've got as i'm going through these tutorials i've i've got all these plans in my head for how i can combine a lot of these different modules now i know in terms of the arduino itself it's limited both in terms of voltages and currents you can't just load it up with 50 sensors and also just limited in terms of physical pinouts as well so I have some cool ideas of stuff that I want to do and I hope that during my my university term which I'm starting uh, I'm going to be able to carry on and get some Arduino projects going so I'm really looking forward to this if you guys are enjoying it subscribe leave a like and drop a comment below see you guys in a bit take care